What are the top seven most common questions people have about decentralized cloud storage? I'm glad you asked. We're here to answer those questions. When people first hear about decentralized cloud storage, they usually have a couple of questions about how it works, how secure it is against data theft, and what benefits it can provide. And we're going to cover some of those frequently asked questions regarding StoreX's decentralized cloud storage. So question one, let's get right to it. What does decentralized cloud storage actually mean? Decentralized cloud storage is a revolutionary way of storing your data. Now, this means unlike the traditional method of storing your data on a single source, like AWS, Google, or Azure, with decentralized cloud, your data gets encrypted, fragmented, and then multiple copies of this data is distributed across different storage nodes worldwide, owned and operated by individuals. So none of these storage operators ever has complete access to your complete data. And since multiple copies of this data is created, even if nodes are inaccessible, data can be retrieved from other nodes. Here's another common question, question two, how secure is a user's data on decentralized cloud storage? So the unique architecture of decentralized cloud offers the highest level of security. The unique architecture makes it highly secure. For example, if you upload a document to StoreX Drive or documents to StoreX Drive, the very first thing we do is we client side encrypt the document with a unique key, which only you have. Then it gets broken up into multiple fragments. Each of these fragments then gets uploaded to a different storage node on the StoreX network. So each piece represents just a fraction of the file. So say a hacker tries to access your file. You would first have to locate multiple nodes where the data is stored, find the decryption keys, and then access your data. This task is really, really difficult and close to impossible. Question number three, what kind of encryption standards are used in the StoreX network? Every file is encrypted using AES-256 military grade encryption using a key that only the file uploader has. Simple as that. Question four, what happens when a bunch of nodes go offline? Well, when the file gets uploaded onto the network, multiple copies of such data fragments are created and stored in different locations. So if one or more nodes goes offline, the data is still retrievable from the backup nodes. The network is also constantly auditing nodes for file pieces. The system keeps track of how many pieces the network has for each file. And if the system detects an alert for missing data, it repairs the file, collecting the missing data fragments, and then uploads those new pieces to backup nodes to bring the durability levels for that file. On to question five, how many active nodes do StoreX Network currently have? StoreX Network currently holds more than 4,000 active nodes and over 100,000 beta users on the network operating at beta mode for over six months. On to question six, if the system's required collection and rebuilding the data each time I have to access the file, doesn't that mean that it's slow compared to traditional cloud like AWS, Google Drive, Dropbox? Actually, no. In fact, it's the other way around. The performance is really incredible because unlike traditional cloud where the data is accessed from a single source, the speed depends on multiple factors like the connectivity, bandwidth, or the number of processes running on the server. In StoreX, the system queries the network and fetches data from the nodes, which is able to provide the data at maximum speed. This enhances the speed for data retrieval. Our final question, question number seven, what is the cost to store and download the data from StoreX and how can one start? So since StoreX is currently in beta, we don't have pricing for the storage. Besides, the concept of decentralized cloud storage is very innovative. We want clients to experience the power of a decentralized network, but we can assure you that the prices will be relatively cheaper compared to our competitors. So with all that being said, if you're interested in getting started, you can create an account at storex.io and start uploading your data to the decentralized cloud. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to comment below with questions.